Sunday, February 19th, 9.30 Mountain Time, 2017. About three weeks ago, did a video called Something is Stealing the Color from Planet Earth at an Alarming Rate. I mentioned the Great Barrier Reefs and some stop signs in my local area that I was just, honestly, I was flabbergasted. I mean, I've been driving for 35 years and I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, I understand that things fade. They get sun faded over time. Here's hundreds of cars. I, I've seen that. That's that's not a surprise. But some of these cars that you'll look at, they're, they're many decades old and have been sitting out in the sun, but that's totally um, normal. We've all seen that. And maybe I wasn't clear um, when I was talking about these signs. It was the speed at which these things went from red to pure white. Guys, it was in less than five months. It was unbelievable. And I guess that was as big as a deal as the signs being completely white themselves because I've never seen white stop signs. I've seen them bleached, but never completely white. I want to thank all of you kind people for sending the pictures in to me um, from around not only the United States, but from around the world. This is turning into a global phenomenon, kind of like I thought maybe it would be. Uh, made a new friend. His name is Jose from Ecuador. And he sent me pictures two days ago. And here is a little screen grab from our conversation. This one in particular, it bleached out in four months. Right here. Four months. Turned white. And he sent me some other pictures that I'm going to share with you here in just a minute. But he also sent me two links of some scientific studies. Uh, well, one is a scientific study of the deterioration of traffic signs. I couldn't believe it. He did a great job. This really intrigued him as well. So he did some research, actually contacted the, the company that manufactures these signs, and he hasn't heard back from them yet. But I'll post a link if you want to check this out. It's very interesting because this is a strange phenomenon. Let me tell you, something happened back in October or maybe even September of last year and I think that's when all of this really amplified and that's when I think those signs turned white but here's a, a, a an example of they did tests on red green yellow white the different signs that are posted along uh, highways and roads and here's a test from a red sign over the course of 12 years and it had changed some it had lost some of its luster, so to speak, but typically all of these signs have a lifespan of about 12 years. But they never turned white. And this study was done several years ago in every, well, states from Arizona clear over to New York. It's a really good study, and it was a study done by the government. Unbelievable. Um, the reflect. Reflection readings were taken on approximately 6,275 traffic signs throughout the United States. Um, they did a full data report. Here's, here's the agencies. Frisco, Milwaukee, Mississippi, uh, Tennessee, Arizona, Idaho, Vermont, New York, Oregon. And they did a phenomenal job. But none of them turned white. And especially turned white in like a five month time span. That's incredible, man. He also got a hold of road sign manufacturers, sent them an email. And typically, these signs come with a 12 year warranty. Um, at minimum, they're supposed to last anywhere from like seven to, to 10 years, seven to nine years, something like that. Because over time, we understand, man. We know things fade. Everything that sits out in a direct sunlight gets sun faded. Anybody knows that, man. Come on, that's that's no surprise. But when you see a stop sign that's turned completely white, that is a surprise. So something happened, but we don't know exactly what. But great job to Jose for finding this information. I couldn't believe that he found they actually did a study on this just to see how long they would last because things like this are a public safety hazard. These signs have to be at least probably inspected once a year. I don't think they plan on them turning pure white. because That's a public safety issue, man. But anyway, I want to thank 
Tanya, Elaine, Jose, Lourdes from uh, Alabama for sending me uh, new pictures. Check it out. I'm going to share them with you guys real quick. Um, here's the stop sign. You guys have seen the one I did. No, there's, actually, there's two there. Bleached completely white. This is Lourdes from Alabama. Check it out. Does that look familiar? Sure it does. It's a bleached white stop sign, just like the ones that I've been showing you. Here, we'll put them side by side. There you go. Alabama, Arizona. Good job, man. Good job. Okay, we've got Alabama, Tanya from Maryland. Notice the white mailboxes. Good observation. Another sign from Jose in Ecuador. This one is severely faded. On its way to probably white. Another sign in Ecuador from Jose. And you can tell that this part is exposed to more direct. And this here gets a little bit of indirect because it still has a little bit of color, but not much. And again, that's from Ecuador. Um, here's another one. Jose, Ecuador, pure white. Good job, guys. Now look at this one. You can see this one probably faces either directly south, east, or west. Uh, more than likely, this is south. I would say this one is west or east because it gets a little bit of shade in the afternoon hours. That's why the color was spared. Anything in the direct, it's stealing the color. Simple as that. Here's a sign from Kentucky, courtesy of Elaine. A green sign that's turned almost white. They actually did a study on green, too. These signs are, when they turn white and they're no longer readable, become a public safety issue. So, uh, yeah, here's another one from uh, Ecuador, Jose. And you can tell it's got a little bit of uh, shade at some point throughout the day. But this end here, pretty much pure white. And here's one I found just the other day. My son and I were out running some errands, and I happened to notice we were getting back into the car. This building is faced uh, facing, I want to say, northeast. It doesn't face directly east. It's got a little bit of a north orientation to it, but you can see how the last letter of this sign, its color was spared. All the rest of them are on their way to being bleached white. And it seems like red is taking the hardest hit. So I just found this very interesting. I want to thank you guys for sending me this information, especially Jose, for your wonderful research. I had no idea that they had done a, a study on how long these signs will last. And right here it shows about 12 years before they start fading um, at a level that's not acceptable. But nowhere in here anywhere does it say anything about them turning completely white. That is a strange phenomenon that is currently sweeping the globe. Incredible times we're living in, guys. And during these uncertain times, I encourage you to be brave, be strong, be wise, and be informed. Thanks for watching.